So we've done a few letters already. We've done B, D, E, H, K, L, M, N, P, briefly. Now we're going to take it up a level and take on two challenging letters and one easy one just to mix it up. So this lesson is about G, R and V. Now G and R are what you call guttural sounds. They are sounds that are not used in English. As a result, non-Afrikaans speaking people struggle to pronounce G and R in Afrikaans. You'll also hear these sounds in German and maybe Dutch and probably a few other languages too. Let's talk about the letter R. To make the R sound, you need to kind of vibrate your tongue for about two seconds. It sounds a bit like R. Just one more time. R. So it's more effort needed than in English, which is just a soft R. The letter G, you can make by imagining you've got some phlegm stuck in your throat and you're going to try and spit it up. Now, don't really do it. No one will appreciate that. But you say, kh. so, r and kh are two pretty common consonants that are quite often used in Afrikaans. So you need to practice those if you want to actually be understood. Now, the letter V is the easy one. V is pronounced in Afrikaans like you would pronounce F in English. So where you see a V in Afrikaans, just think of an F sound in English. Now my Afrikaans English Dictionary has about three pages set aside for F words in Afrikaans. And obviously in English there's quite a few more F words. Now don't think of the naughty word now. In Afrikaans, there's three pages for the F set aside, and there's, there's a whole 16 pages for words that start with the letter V. And Goldie's now going to read some R words, some V words, and some G words. And I want you to listen twice, and then I want you to practice, especially the R and the G words, because they're the tough ones. Thanks, Goldie. Hill. Khan. Khuyanant. Hill. Khan. Rai Roy Rus Rock Rai Roy Rus Rock Fell, full, fush, fat, fear.